For cheat games, MSP and PS their money, check out my sponsor G2A, the link's down below in the description, and use the code RIG3 for 3% cash back. Alright guys, Riggers here, and today I'm showing you how to make some easy coins out of Team of the Season, so if you guys will enjoy this video, and if you do, please smash the like button down below. So for my first tip for this video, is to go onto a website like Footbin, set the price to about 2k to 5k, gold rares only, and with these players, during the line rounds, the pack's an absolute ton, so um, a lot of time they list up in like 600 coins, 650 starts, so um, they're really good to pick up through bin cheap and also through snipe when the line rounds first start. They can be really good to snipe. With these players though, always double check the prices. Make sure that you actually sell for these prices because sometimes they don't, but if they do, they're going to be really good to snipe, really good to pick up through bidding, and you'll be able to make some easy coins for them. Next up for this video, I have a tip to do with the 83 red cards. Now for these cards, if they're not really required for any SBCs until at least Saturday, on Friday the prices are going to drop, and that's potentially going to make them really good to invest in, because people are going to spam packs on Friday, and these cards could potentially drop down to like 700 to 900 coins, which would make them a very low risk investment, and during the week, we're probably going to get some guaranteed team of the season SBCs, which will make the prices go up slightly, so um, yeah, on Friday, if these prices do drop, could be worth picking up a few as investments. Going into the next set of cards this video now, which is going to be consumables. Now on Friday, as people are going to be opening the packs that they're saved up, the market's going to get more supply of consumables compared to usual, which is going to make the ones that sell good to snipe and also good to pick up through bidding. So um, for the counter center mid, for an example, this card sells like 3,700 coins, probably just blow that to the second. So um, no, it's still 3,700, but with cards like this, you're going to be able to snipe where you can make 1k coins, potentially 2k coins per snipe, and they're going to be popping up a decent amount since there'll be more going onto the market compared to usual. So for consumables that sell, definitely take a look at them on Friday during the week. Probably won't be as good as most of the packs EA put in the store when our consumables in them, but on Friday, take a look at some of the ones that sell, because they should be pretty good to trade with. Right, so going to the next tip for this video now, which is also in our consumables, I just want to mention this one quickly. So it's the squad finish card, so these are the second. Currently sell for 950 coins, and with them last year, they actually dropped just below 500 coins on the very first day. So um, if that happens again, they're going to be a really good investment. And also, definitely recommend sniping these ones as well. So last year, once the first weekend league came out where we got the red picks for Team of the Season cards, these cards went up a nice amount. Like at one point, they're actually selling for 2,000 coins. So um, yeah, squad finish cards. Keep an eye on their price, because if they do drop again, they could be a pretty good investment. Going into the final tip for this video, and it's just to jump on some of the old sniping first, because they'll be the most active they've been for a while. So for an example, Belgium centre back some Spurs for this one. Cheapest card is currently 28,250, and the prices will change a bit next week, but for fields like this, it's going to be the best they've been for a while. Like another one you can use, Brazilians from Man City. Like when you use this field for an example, you do need to put this up to um, 12,250 just to get rid of Jesus. Then find the cheapest card, which is usually Fernandinho. So for his price, currently 27k. But when you're also on this filter, can potentially get like Edison. So um, yeah, sniping fields like this. Definitely worth jumping on them next week because it's going to be the most active they've been for a while. But that will be it for this video now. So see you. I should eat Hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have, please for like.